Alright, hey, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today, I've got another rear review. I'm going to show you how I would cook these if I were to just eat them. We got some Mama Creamy Tom Yum up in your business, yo. And this is solid. Solid stuff. I got to visit their factory in Thailand and let me tell you it was like first off it was hot uh, I'm sure if they're watching they're like, oh my god is he still whining about how hot it was it was hot <laughs> but uh the smell it's like is like that it's just like the whole area around the factory just smells like instant noodle loving big time so, yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that enough. So this is one that you steep. You do not usually boil it. I mean, you can. I've boiled it before. If I don't feel like steeping it. But steeping it, it's just how it's meant to be. These noodles are particularly interesting, too, because they kind of like... They get... A certain amount of by the way this is an oil uh, or a, just like a tom yum paste I should say uh, the noodles kind of just like start engorging themselves on the water and then they just stop not only that the noodles themselves are kind of tasty just to eat as a snack and yeah again we're accompanied by the new sound araca cycle behind me this obelisk type object $23 on Amazon I am like stoked uh oh did it break it's awful quiet oh here we go I don't even know if you can hear it that's the problem I need to figure out the right sound level for this thing because who knows what the mic on this little 360 cam is picking up I know sometimes it has trouble picking me up, and I feel like I'm like right in its business, but yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to go as as like low effort on instant noodle recipe time as possible. All I have to do is join things together and upload them, and that's it. And I like that; it keeps it fun and mellow and and noodly, noodlerific. Here are the gold standard of Thai instant noodles. That's that's the one. There's others that are absolutely fantastic. But these are just like when you think, I mean, if you ask anybody, have you ever had Thai noodles? Oh yeah, Mama, the, the silver pack. It's like I've talked to so many people, Asian people, like... Yep, Mama Silver Pack. Had them all the time growing up. Alright, so that needs to be covered with what we call a lid here. And I think this goes for three minutes, but I'll make sure. Do I still have the package? I don't think so. Well, three minutes sounds like a reasonable amount of time. So, what's going on? Uh, it's been windy. It's been rainy. Summer is very much gone. Fall is turning into winter quick. Um, coming back from Canada, it was dumping. And the morning started out beautiful blue skies and everything. And then the clouds roll in and it's just like, ooh. Yeah. Oh, what else did we do? Oh, I should talk about my new thing. I've been on this diet now for, I guess, over a week, and it's not bugging me at all. In fact, it's kind of fun. I got a little tracker thingy, track, and I track how much I eat and all that stuff, and I feel, like, way better already. I'm doing, like, when I do this review, when I'm done with it, I'll have, like, one bite, and then the rest goes down the garbage disposal. 
and I did a video of it on the last one. It's just like, oh, hurts my soul. But so what you got to do? It's like I got to lower my cholesterol, and I just want to lose a ton of weight. So yeah, that's kind of the way to go. <laughs> Not eating big, huge bowls of ramen all the time, which I wasn't doing, but. Like today, I'm doing ones the way that I really like to have them. So it's kind of hard to even. It's like, oh, okay, when it's done, we'll have a pomegranate and a banana. It'll be okay. <laughs> well, that's something that I'm trying to figure out. I've got a. Uh, I've never had a pomegranate, but I got one. I know those are easy to do. But this is a persimmon. This is a Fuyu persimmon. And I guess. If they're not ripe, they are nasty. But if they are ripe, they're really good. You put a little bit of cinnamon on them. But they are absolutely everywhere at the Asian groceries in Canada and here in the U.S. So if you want to get a persimmon, I think this is the time of year to do it. Uh, if you look on YouTube, maybe I'll find that video and put it down below. But there's a video about, or if I don't, remind me to. Um... A video where this guy with a bunch of hair tells you all about persimmons and there's like Hachia Fuyu and American something and I think it was something like that but anyways two of them are okay to eat whenever I think Fuyu is one of those the Hachia are better but you have to like totally get them a hundred percent yeah There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. We have some shrimp creamy tom yum. Smells lovely. I've got a huge bag in the closet with like stuff that I wanna review that I haven't reviewed before or that I have reviewed before but I haven't done a video of and it's like stuff that anybody can get and that's kind of like my goal is to make it through those maybe once a week do something like that mm. Mm. so here you go Tom Yum look at that broth it's just striking Oh, let me get that one. So there's the broth. Of course, I have shrimp. I like to kind of let them get a little bit of time in the broth to make them look a little bit nicer. I don't know if it really makes much difference, but I like to think it does. Alright, and how do we want to do you guys? Let's do you like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And we got coriander. Or no, now we got Some uh, mung bean sprout, and then we have coriander. And this, honestly, I mean, it's pretty basic, but this is like the way I like to do it up. If I've got other stuff to put in, like here, I've got leftover uh, green onion. Here it comes. Woo! Not really a standard thing to put in, but hey, why not? You know, I've got it extra. It's ready to go. But yeah, shrimpy shrimp. Tom Yummy. Yeah. 
All right, well, cool. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was interesting to you and you enjoyed it thoroughly and plan on subscribing and doing all that good stuff. Uh, if you need further convincing, there's more videos right there. So it's good stuff, uh, totally free, totally enjoyable, from me to you. So on that note, I wish you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye.